What enduring qualities do you think make the 1964 TV series The Man from U.N.C.L.E. an everlasting symbol of the industry? Was it the gripping espionage narrative or the charismatic performances of the classic Hollywood actors involved? Speaking of which, which classic Hollywood actor in this TV series was your favorite? We'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some random facts about the show. The Man from U.N.C.L.E. was a spy-fi series that took the television world by storm in the 1960s. Created by Norman Felton, this series followed the adventures of two suave secret agents, Napoleon Solo and Ilya Kuryakin, played by Robert Vaughn and David McCallum, respectively, as they fought the evil forces of Thrush. The show was known for its blend of action, humor, and cutting-edge gadgets, making it an iconic piece of Cold War-era pop culture. It even spawned movies and influenced many spy-related series and films that followed. So, share your thoughts and favorite moments related to this classic TV series in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. The Man from U.N.C.L.E. Aired in 1964 and was clearly influenced by the James Bond craze, coming out just a year after the first seven movie, Dr. No. The show featured U.N.C.L.E agents and their adversaries using mp40 submachine guns in some episodes and they had pistols from the first season interestingly the character napoleon solo originally intended to be canadian faced legal threats from eon productions due to the use of the name in 1966 nbc continued its trend of emulating success by creating the monkeys after the beatles film help premiered this series was inspired by the Beatles, and that's a brief look at The Man from U.N.C.L.E. from 1964. The Man from U.N.C.L.E. The 1964 TV series had an interesting twist. Every two-part episode of the show was reedited into a series of theatrical movies. These movies were initially released in Europe and later made their way to American television. What's unique is that for each of these movie adaptations, additional footage was shot, giving fans a new perspective on the familiar plots. Some of the titles in this movie series included To Trap a Spy, The Spy with My Face, One Spy Too Many, One of Our Spies is Missing, The Spy in the Green Hat, The Karate Killers, The Helicopter Spies, and How to Steal the World. This series also introduced the character Ilya Kuryakin whose name came from a Broadway play written and directed by Jules Dassin. Ilya Darling is Dassin's musical adaptation of his earlier film Never on Sunday, known as Potin Kyriaki in Greek. The Kyriakin character is Russian, and it's worth noting that Dassin, the creator of the name, had faced blacklisting for years due to suspicions of communist ties. In a lighter vein, the man from Uncle was immune to parody. Mad Magazine once spoofed the series as the man from Anti putting a humorous twist on the show's spy theme. And that's a glimpse into some unique aspects of The Man from U.N.C.L.E. from 1964. Stay tuned for more interesting facts about this classic series. During the series' run, Ilya became so popular that David McCallum received more fan mail than any other actor in MGM's history, including stars like Clark Gable and Elvis Presley. This reflected the immense impact of The Man from U.N.C.L.E. In 1964, the character of Ilya Kuryakin, played by McCallum, struck a chord with the audience, making him a bona fide pop culture icon. Fans' adoration for the character reached such heights that McCallum's fan mail outshone Hollywood legends. This unparalleled fan following showcased the series' immense influence and the memorable role of Ilya. Stay tuned for more insights into this iconic show. Thrush, an acronym for technological hierarchy for the removal of undesirables and the subjugation of humanity, played a pivotal role in the 1964 TV series, The Man from U.N.C.L.E. This shadowy organization served as the primary antagonist in the show, pitting U.N.C.L.E. agents against a formidable global threat. Their nefarious schemes and high-stakes espionage missions provided the backdrop for the thrilling adventures of Napoleon Solo and Ilya Kuryakin. Thrush was the force that Uncle aimed to thwart, a name that struck fear into the hearts of viewers. The constant battle between the two organizations created the tension and excitement that defined the series. While the show's heroes, portrayed by Robert Vaughn and David McCallum, 
worked tirelessly to dismantle Thrush. As plans, the acronym itself became synonymous with the covert world of espionage during the 1960s. The clash between Uncle and Thrush was at the core of the show's success. It showcased the timeless struggle between good and evil wrapped in the espionage and intrigue that captivated audiences during its run. The Man from Uncle left an indelible mark on the spy genre, solidifying its place in television history. The stunts in the 1964 TV series The Man from Uncle were a crucial part of the action. They were usually performed by the main actors, David McCallum and Robert Vaughn, along with stuntmen. The rule was simple, the best version made the cut. Interestingly, McCallum had a fear of heights, while Vaughn wasn't too comfortable with water, so they tried to avoid stunts involving their respective fears. These stunts added an element of realism to the show, making the action sequences more exciting for the viewers. It's a testament to the dedication of the actors, and the importance of action in The Man from Uncle. Stay tuned for more insights into this classic series. In the 1964 TV series The Man from UNCLE, each episode had a unique format. Except for Alexander the Greater Affair, episodes were always titled The Affair, while each act also carried its own title, usually taken from a line of dialogue. This distinctive naming approach added an element of intrigue and creativity to the series, setting it apart from other shows of its time. Additionally, it's interesting to note that at one point, the producers considered merging the man from Uncle with the girl from Uncle to create a single, two-hour series called The Uncle Show. This idea showcases the show's popularity and the creative directions its producers were willing to explore. Another intriguing aspect is that the meaning of the acronym Thrush was never explicitly spelled out in the series. However, a meaning was created for one of the Uncle. Novels published at the time, leaving fans to speculate and wonder about the true nature of this shadowy organization. These unique elements in The Man from UNCLE contributed to its distinctive appeal and continue to pique the interest of fans and viewers, making it a classic in television history. In the 1964 TV series The Man from UNCLE, the name Solo, used by the character Napoleon Solo, was reportedly borrowed with the blessing of Ian Fleming the author of the James Bond novels. This connection to Fleming and the Bond franchise added an interesting dimension to the show, given its clear influence by the James Bond craze. The use of the solo name was a nod to the spy genre's interconnectedness during that era. With the passing of Robert Vaughn on November 11, 2016, David McCallum, who portrayed Ilya Kuryakin, became the last surviving cast member of the series. This highlights the passage of time and the significance of the show in the history of television. These facts offer a glimpse into the background and longevity of the man from UNCLE making it a noteworthy part of television history. Stay tuned for more insights into this iconic series from 1964. As we bid adieu to this thrilling journey through the world of the man from UNCLE, I invite you to pause for a moment and reflect on your own unique connection with this iconic 1964 TV series. What is it about this espionage-filled world that has left an indelible mark on your memory? Was it the charismatic duo of Napoleon Solo and Ilya Kuryakin, the suave style, or perhaps the pulsating tension that kept you on the edge of your seat. The Man from UNCLE was more than just a show, it was an adventure, a timeless story that brought us into the heart of the Cold War, pitting wits against the forces of evil. It's a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring appeal of characters that become a part of our lives. Now, I encourage you to share your favorite memories or thoughts about The Man from UNCLE. Those moments that made you smile, gasp, or even shed a tear. Whether you've been a fan since its inception or just recently discovered its magic, your experiences and insights are an integral part of the series' legacy. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of nostalgia and intrigue. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, and your personal connection with the man from UNCLE adds a unique dimension to its enduring legacy. So, share your thoughts and memories, and let's celebrate this timeless classic together.